Hey guys, um, it's me, Brandy, from the Fashion Gypsies. I realized I didn't record an intro correctly, so this is my intro. It's on a different, less HD format, but don't worry, the rest of the video is going to be in super nice quality. Um, but yeah, this is my Summer Essentials video, and I hope you guys really like it. Thanks. The next product I'm talking to you guys about is hair. Um, these are my two favorite hair um, essentials this summer. I've been trying to grow my hair out. It's, it, I want it to be super long, just like every other girl right now. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to stereotype you guys all. But yeah, I really do want my hair long. And so these are products that I've been using in order to not use heat and to not wash it often because it dries it out. So this stuff um, I've been using since I found out about dry shampoo probably like three or four years ago. And um, it's, it's pretty good. It's Tresemme's Fresh Start Dry Shampoo for oily, straight to normal hair. If you spray like in one concentrated direction, you're gonna get like white powder all over your hair. But if you're like me, or you just need to pat it to get it out. If you're like me and you want to keep your hair growing out, I wouldn't suggest using this. Um, I've heard that alcohol being sprayed on your hair is not a good idea, so I think Lush has like some dry shampoo. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but once I do, I'll let you guys know. This stuff, on the other hand, I don't. It doesn't have alcohol in it. It's not really aerosol either. Here, I'll spray it. It just looks like this. It almost like water. But it smells super good, and it gives me the beachy waves. My hair is not at its greatest state right now. Um, this is from like me spraying a bunch of the stuff in my hair yesterday, putting up in a bun and sleeping. So if you guys really want the really messy look, this isn't what I really want, but it's fine right now. Um, you could do that. But yeah, this stuff works otherwise. It doesn't leave your hair super shiny or really greasy either. I just spray it towards the ends more. I don't really want like beachy waves up there. But yeah, this is, sorry, product name is Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I wanted to buy this for a while, but I was kind of hesitant because it's like around $5, I think. And it's not like a giant bottle, so I don't know. I'm a little cheap, obviously, when it comes to my beauty products. All this stuff, by the way, can be purchased at a drugstore. Walmart, Target, whatever. And, um, so, but yeah, I think this is really worth the money. I might repurchase this, or I might try to make it on my own with my own spray bottle, but it smells like coconut. Oh my god, it smells like coconut. Yeah, easily one of my favorite products of the summer. The next product I'm talking to you guys about is hair. Um, these are my two favorite hair um, essentials this summer. I've been trying to grow my hair out. It's, it, I want it to be super long, just like every other girl right now. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to stereotype you guys all. But yeah, I really do want my hair long. And so these are products I've been using in order to not use heat and to not wash it often because it dries it out. So this stuff um, I've been using since I found out about dry shampoo probably like three or four years ago. And um, it's, it's pretty good. It's Tresemme's Fresh Start Dry Shampoo for oily, straight to normal hair. If you spray like in one concentrated direction, you're going to get like white powder all over your hair. But if you're like me, or you just need to pat it to get it out. If you're like me and you want to keep your hair growing out, I wouldn't suggest using this. Um, I've heard that alcohol being sprayed on your hair is not a good idea, so I think Lush has like some dry shampoo. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but once I do, I'll let you guys know. This stuff, on the other hand, I don't... It doesn't have alcohol in it. It's not really aerosol either. Here, I'll spray it. It just looks like this. It almost like water. But it smells super good, and it gives me the beachy waves. My hair is not at its greatest state right now. Um, this is from like me spraying a bunch of the stuff in my hair yesterday, putting up in a bun and sleeping. So if you guys really want the really messy look, this isn't what I really want, but it's fine right now. Um, you could do that. But yeah, this stuff works otherwise. It doesn't leave your hair super shiny or really greasy either. I just spray it towards the ends more. I don't really want like beachy waves up there. But yeah, this is, sorry, product name is Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I wanted to buy this for a while, but I was kind of hesitant because it's like around $5, I think. And it's not like a giant bottle, so I don't know. I'm a little cheap, obviously, when it comes to my beauty products. All this stuff, by the way, can be purchased at a drugstore, Walmart, Target, whatever. And um, so, but yeah, I think this is really worth the money. I might repurchase this, or I might try to make it on my own with my own spray bottle, but it smells like coconut. Oh my god, it smells like coconut. Yeah. Easily one of my favorite products of the summer. I have two products to show you for my face that I've been using. 
I've been using BB cream this summer um, a lot if I don't want to put like my MAC foundation on. And um, this BB cream is by CoverGirl. It's in the color 805 Fair to Light. All the way around. Um, and yeah, I just heard that this has a lot of coverage in it as well as like moisturizer and sunscreen. So that's kind of why I picked this one up out of all of the drugstore brands. I don't think I'll be purchasing this again. Not because it's a bad product. It's pretty good in my opinion. I've never tried any other one so I don't know what else to compare it to. But um, this is... CoverGirl tests on animals and I'm not a huge fan of buying products that I know test on animals. It makes me feel super guilty about it. So I don't think I'll be buying this just for that fact. But if you don't really care then this is a great BB cream in the drugstore department to use. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is a concealer. It's Maybelline's Cover Stick Correction Concealer. Um, I bought it because I felt like I had this really strong urge that I needed a green colored concealer to reduce the redness on my face. And I don't know, like a bunch of people are like, you don't have redness on your face, but I feel like I do. So I went out and got it. If you've never even seen a green concealer before, um, they say when you look at a color wheel, red's on one side and green's on the opposite side. So when you put green, this green over the red, it'll can cancel the color out and make it even with your skin tone. Maybe not even, but like lessen the redness basically is what I'm trying to say. It's in the color green corrects redness. Now, it does reduce redness really well, um, but it doesn't cover. So, does that make sense? Like. You can still visit, this isn't a good concealer is what I'm trying to say, it's just a good redness reducer. Um, but I bought this kind of on a whim, I went to get the Physician Formula one because I heard that one was really good but I couldn't find it where I was. So I just bought this one because I was impatient. And um, so yeah, if you're just looking to reduce redness, this is perfect. Um, next we'll do lips, I only have one lip product to show you guys. Um, I'm definitely going to have more for fall because I'm going to get really into lipsticks this fall I believe. But this is actually a lip stain, and it's by e.l.f. Um, I was thoroughly impressed by this product, considering it was only $2. Yeah, I love e.l.f.'s brands. It's so cheap. Um, the only thing that's weird is that it smells kind of funny. Now it smells like my chapstick that I use yet. Definitely use a chapstick with this product because it will dry the heck out of your lips. The first day I used it, I didn't, and my lips were bleeding by the end of the day. I mean, they weren't like just open wounds, but I definitely had some blood coming out of them. It was terrible. Um, so yeah, you just apply one layer of lip balm beforehand, put this on, and it's fine. This is in the color Nude Nectar. I don't know what number to read off, so I'm not going to, but yeah, it's like the pinky one. Next, I have nail polishes to show you guys. I have two different sets of nail polishes I'm going to show you guys. One's more bright and one's more pale. Um, so yeah, so obviously for the summer, people are like, wear bright nail polish, so that's what I'm trying to get into. The colors that I have here are some of my favorites. They're both by Sally Hansen. This one's a cheaper brand, but it lasts probably just as good as this one does. So I might just switch over completely to this brand. Um, I'm not a hardcore Sally Hansen fan, but this is one of my favorite nail polishes. This is Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear, and it's in the color Cherry Red. I have it on right now. I'm not the best nail, nail polish applicator, so don't judge me if it's all gross, but it's a good nail polish. And this I bought on like a whim because I really like the color, like the slime green. And this is in the color Limestone 620. Um, it's a really unexciting name for a color so cool. But yeah, this is on my toes and this is on my fingers, so I kind of look like Christmas right now, but it doesn't matter to me. Okay, now on to clips. Um, one thing that I've had for a long time, if you could tell the button's missing on it, actually, the top one, um, are these daisy printed shorts that I got from H&M like my freshman or sophomore year. Like during the summer, but I've been wearing these so much this summer just because the daisy print is so in and it's my favorite flower. Um, and yeah, they're super breezy and light and they, they're kind of high-waisted, which is cool too, but yeah, it just has a zipper and two buttons, but one fell off and I need to sew it on because it came with an extra one. But yeah, printed shorts are an easy fave of mine, um, and I've been wearing these ones in particularly a lot this summer. Next is another dress. I think it's super important that you have a good go-to dress during the summertime. Um, one thing I didn't bring with me is a maxi dress. Anyways, been really loving dresses this summer, maxi or short. This one happens to be short, just because um, it is. It's the only one I picked. It's the first one I picked up. Um, it's like this '90s. It's almost like a '90s and a '60s style. The '60s is like the cutout, um, kind of like 
or above the knee, but like flirty almost, but not too flirty. And 90s because it's like kind of boxy at the same time. And the print looks a little 90s to me too. But yeah, I just got this at Savers. I thrifted it. And the color is really cool. I like the violet. I think it pops a lot during the summertime. And it's been one of my favorite dresses to wear this summer. Next and the last thing, this is coming to an end, are a pair of shorts because you can't go through the summer without a favorite pair of shorts. And these are mine. They are Levi's 550s. Um, and they are distressed, obviously. I bought these at Melrose Trading Post, the flea market in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, I can't pronounce things, I guess. Um, for probably around $20. They're getting really overpriced there, so I would almost just go to Urban if I were you, unless you want to make them yourself. Um, I think they're up to like 30 at that Melrose Trading Post, which is just ridiculous in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I really like them. They, they fit well. They're a little bigger on the waist area, but they're a little short. I don't know, they're still my favorite, and I didn't buy any new ones, so they're going to be my favorite for a while, I think. But yeah, this is easily it. Hey guys, sorry, you guys can probably tell this is on a completely different format. But my camera got too overheated and too full, so I had to switch to um, a MacBook, just because it would have taken way too long to um, import it all, and then bring my camera back up and import that too, just because it's so high def. Maybe you guys can't tell, maybe it's not that high def, but um, <laughs> I think it's pretty high def. It takes a long time to import stuff. So um, I thought I'd finish off this because I'm really, like, really, really um, passionate about this app. I've been waiting for it to come out for like a year, and it's a weather app. Um, and if you're into typography and stuff like that, um, this is a perfect app, app for you. Um, it's really funny, and... Um, Oh, I want a different one. Um, it's really funny and it's really great. F just It's just something to show your friends. I had to pay 99 cents for it, but I think it's worth it just because I heard about it on Tumblr like a while back and I've been checking his website to see if it's done, if it's actually on the App Store. And it finally is. Um, it's going to come out for Android soon. It says it on his website. But it's called Authentic Weather. And it's basically just an app that um, tells you the weather, but it tells you in a really funny way. Um, but like right now, this is what it says for my where I am. It just says it's too damn hot. And then usually down here, oh, I can't see. It'll say something funny too. So down here it says, look outside for more information. It's just super blunt and like, what else, what do you think the weather is? Look outside your window and stuff like that. Um, I'm surprised it doesn't say the F word because it usually does. <laughs> but yeah, you can hold it down and it'll tell you your temperature. It's, I guess it's 89 where I am right now. It's not even that hot, trust me. Um, and then you pull this, this is one thing I haven't gotten, but you pull Hang on. Oh, you could share it on Facebook, Twitter, and then you pull this down and it tells you your forecast. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a super funny app. Um, it'll say different things every time you pop it up, so that's even cooler. Um, and I just wanted to give you guys a proper goodbye. Um, if you guys like this whole, like, dot thing that I have going on the side of my eye, I just kind of wanted to really embrace this, like, boho-y, hippie thing I got going on right now. Um, if you guys want... I just did this with, um colored eyeliner just drew three little dots if you haven't seen um if you don't follow Kendall or no Kylie posted that Kylie Jenner on Instagram then what are you doing um she's awesome and her selfies are just totally rad I actually just saw this in glamour and um I was like "Ooh, that is really cute I want to do that um so yeah that's that's kind of what's going on with my eye if you thought that looked weird in the video that's what it looks like up close it's like turquoise um so yeah, I'm going to end this video now, and stay tuned for more. I definitely want to give you guys um, a fall haul. I'm definitely calling it that just because it rhymed. Um, soon, I just don't have all my, um, all the stuff I really want yet. So wait until then, and I will definitely bring it to you guys. The fall haul, and a fall styling, and different pieces to style in the fall. All sorts of stuff. So just stay tuned for that and maybe I'll come out with a few more summer videos for you guys just because it's going to be summer for a long time for me. <laughs> I still got a few months left. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your summer. Even more importantly, um, I know school's starting for me soon. I'm a senior this year, so ew, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys have a great day. Love ya. Bye.